Uh, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman. Uh, I'm playing... I'm about to go into Underbrae 3, the third level, for the third time. I had two pretty disastrous visits, or at least visits that didn't go well for me, and maybe I can turn my luck around. So, um, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to try getting down to it faster. One way is I will use warp when loading the level. Um, but I have, of course, the Port Arcane spell, and I can use it to get out of the dungeon. But sometimes you can use it to get in. It has limited capabilities. Uh, if I look on my map, I can see that the stairs down where I'm probably going to want to go are at 14 west, 5 north. So I might be able to teleport to 14 west, 5 north on the second level. Or I might just be able to teleport down straight down to the third level. If so, uh, maybe I'll start right here, because I haven't been there. So let's start with that. Two down. Yes. And the disc is lit up, which makes me think it's going to work. Uh, the fact that it always knows whether it's going to work before it accesses the disk makes me think that teleport access is always um, level-wide. But that might not be the full picture. Okay, so we have four wind demons, which is bad news, so I'm going to just choose to run and see if that works. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is change my bard song to Sir Robin's tune which should allow me to run away from any fight, which seems bad. And let's place my avatar marker. Exactly what I'm sure I'm seeing over there. I think it's. I think that's a wall here, so it might be something like this. Let's go over and take a look. Well, first I'm going to verify door north. Yes, okay. I was not quite right. It's more like this. bone noise. I think this is not terrible. I think the bone noise mostly try to hit me. Which, as far as things go, seems just fine. I mean, being poisoned isn't great. But 20 damage? No big deal. Okay, that was pretty painless. In fact, most of the fights down here are pretty painless, and then they're not. 
So I think it's just a matter of being choosy for now. Mm, a Slayer figurine. Can't sell it, won't use it. Wait, what was that? It was an explosion, wasn't it? Yes. I don't really understand the concept of that. You walk around and you just get a message. Explosion! Like, I, I kind of feel like I have no idea what's happening. You know, like, is there a powder keg just, like, kicked? I, I, I don't... Was there flammable gas? And I... I, I don't know, it just feels weakly described. sure if I know what a phantom is like, but I think I fought them on the previous level. I don't think they're a big deal. Oh, well, they, were, they didn't do that on the previous level. Maybe I thought something that sounded similar. So, Wind Dragon presumably will breathe fire for a lot of damage. Which is, uh, I, I'm not looking forward to that. No, I'm going to cast anti magic to lower the chances of getting blasted. Doing a fair amount of drag damage to these dragons, but I haven't killed any, and now there's two. The rogue will try to assassinate the phantom, the dragon factory. Oh, you know what I'm doing? I'm doing this wrong. Uh, my bard needs to stop the dragon production machine by singing the No Summons spell. More anti-magic. More specter touch. Okay, one dragon down. Chantrell lost half her hit points approximately in one attack. My rogue failed the assassination attempt. Okay, another dragon down. I hit the phantom with the uh, spell. But it might not be urgent anymore if he can't make more dragons. So it's something to try to remember. Dragons or uh, phantom summon. Ooh. 
vertex. Oh. Okay. I don't know if I can't, like, as long as you're entering and exiting combat, it's unclear whether you moved or not. Did not. In Old Bard's Tale, you would just cast a spell to say, okay, where am I? Here we have, I don't know whether this is good or bad, the fact that I can just check the map that the game is making for me. It's handy, but it definitely means I'm very much more, I'm much less involved in the making of the map. I don't care, you know, if I make a mistake, I don't care. Uh, if I don't pay attention, it doesn't matter. Okay, this is a harder fight, and the death lines will do area attacks. But I don't think they're that bad. So, anti-magic, and then I'm going to do Ice Storm on, I guess, the Death Lines? I guess there's six of them. Maybe I shouldn't have taken this, uh, maybe I should have run away. We'll find out. Oh, that ice storm is sure doing a treat. Well, I guess it only got two in the end, but it started out strong. Now, they're closer. If they had a breath weapon that only went 20 feet, they might really let loose now. A rogue will attack them. More anti magic. Now I'm going to do Dragon Breath on them. It's cheaper than Ice Storm, and I'm hoping they're already softened up. Okay, this is getting to be pretty risky. Even with the double anti-magics or triple by now. Um, let's try casting Restoration. Hopefully it will land at the right time. Okay, we're, we're we have one death line left. I'm sort of out of the woods. Okay, so now we have 
clues about three different wards. Only a fool would frontally assault the second ward. And I have the impression there's three wards in total. Like, I think something said that. So we may have all the clues we're going to get. Certainly when I went through the gap in the spinner room and just walked forward, there were a whole bunch of traps and, and explosions and things. So I think this just told me that I did it wrong. I kind of already knew I did it wrong, but... I mean, dying before I even went down there was probably doing it wrong. surprised. Especially not after the second. I'm gonna leave that wing demon alone. Fast masters are, if they're the same, are not even hard for me. Uh, I should sing the armor song first. And then I think the no summoning song. And then finally we can do some healing. see whether that was an explosion or a trap. I'm going to mark it as an explosion because that's my best guess. I thought that's what I saw flash up. But it's not, it's sort of fine because it's just, you know there's something bad there. Oh, no, it was it was here. Uh, I really not 
realize there was a wall in front of me? I need to check. That's annoying. Uh, my Camtasia for the last encode just popped up, and the clever thing I did with putting a sound effect overlaying some voice. <laughs> I, it did. Oh, whatever. It can't really decide whether the video files are part of the project or not part of the project. Maybe making them part of the project is unrealistic because it would make copying in on those files, but it doesn't really tell you, and I deleted it, and so then later when I tried to render it, you know, it didn't like check whether the file was there at the beginning, it just did all the work, and then at the end said, hey, by the way, some of the files you were trying to use aren't there. Whatever. Okay, the phantom is bad because it summons. Goblin Gulper, I think, just hits people, and Corruptors, I think, just hit people, so... I think we can fight this. Um, I want to do the Robin's tune so they can't summon. Okay. Meanwhile, we're going to cast some spells at the Corruptors and hope we get lucky. Not lucky. Not lucky. I'm just attacking the dragon because I'm going to. I'm sorry, I'm attacking the corruptors because I'm assuming, well, I'm not assuming, I'm going to cast Death Strike on the dragon. I want to just be pretty sure that it's done this turn. It doesn't get out multiple rounds of breath attacks. I thought I played the song that said no summoning. Oh, now it's playing. No, that's the armor song. What the heck? Meanwhile, how are we doing on experience? So probably need like 7,000 more or so. OK. 
Okay, I feel like I'm disoriented because I thought I was here. because it lines up with this. Um, I was just seeing the two doors over there and I misjudged it for three and was thinking it was, I don't know, I was confused. So, here's the two doors I see in front of me. And let's go behind this block. There are different risks, and for some reason I feel like maybe this is the better mitigation. Oh, here's another, here's another clue. Ah, <sighs> so spin less TV spun was not really... That wasn't the full thing. Of course, I already got through it, so... But what did we have to say? The first words key with capital key for some reason and it's like typed in lead speak it's like a teenager on an internet bulletin on a sorry not internet a motor bulletin board in the 90s maybe late 80s actually did call it the bulletin boards because or that sort of thing because this is a 1988 game it's like right in the right time window It sort of seems like gibberish to me. The first word's key is never now ever is seen. Elite and narrow. North by northwest way. Dubs mourn. Now obviously the capitals seem important and the capitals are the letters N, E, W, and S. And then one, then we have the one DM. So, given, especially given that it's supposed to be a key for navigating a space, and they start, you know, even the text starts talking about north and northwest, I think this is actually uh, just instructions to go north, east, north, east, east, south, south, east, 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 north, north, west, north, north, west, west. I don't know what that is. So let's um let's look at this. Uh, I'm gonna use a hamburger because what else? If we assume that our instructions are right, does this work? North, east, north, east, east, south, south. West, west, and 
We already know this is three, so I think that's it. I don't know what DMs. D don't. D do more. Maybe these are like red herrings. I think it. I think. I think that's our solution. That's our hamburger path. Going back to where we are now. Seems like a two door. These these kind of scenarios with the multiple doors into one room all in a row make me think about stables. One wind demon. Is one wind demon too much? I think not. Now before I think we're fighting big slats and these are huge slats. Might be true. Double anti magic. I don't even know if that works. Like, does it actually stack? I don't know. So we're down a huge slat. And now everyone's going to attack that wind demon because screw that guy. Never used a spell. Makes me wonder how much this game actually depends upon monsters deciding not to kill you. A vortex. I I do I will say it's it's best not to uh, try the traps and then if they don't do much, decide that they're harmless. I did that once with like I don't know I think Crazy Cloud, and I was like, oh, this never does anything. It's harmless. So I just started opening them up in some version of one of these games. And then one of them like drove five out of six of my people insane. And they all my casters and I couldn't do anything about it and my party all killed each other. Something like that. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't have taken that so lightly and just ignored it and tempted fate over and over and over. Deathline will kill you. Please bring loot. Okay, thanks. That is no thing. Ain't no thing. Breathe on us, it's fine. Mm. 
lutes. Fat lutes, please. No? No. Gloombard, I don't know about. Lots of Deathlines and lots of Bonars. This seems like it could be too much. I'm going to choose Run. Oh well. Healing Song. Because I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. If it's, I know it's mostly hand to hand, I would do Armor. Uh, Ice Storm on the Death Lines? How about that? Oh, and the Death Lines can bring more of themselves, so I need to use the No Summon song. Three lines dead by the spell. That's good. Uh, two Nars dead by a spell. I don't know what a Gloom Bard does. That's why I'm trying to kill it. I'm doing, I swapped my caster for some reason. I put Ice Storm on the Bone Nars, hoping, I guess I was hoping to like kind of wipe them out. And Dragon Breath on the Death Lions because I kind of don't know how many hit points they have at all. This line of this thinking may not really make sense. Bloombard is dead. Okay. Everyone shall attack Death Lions. I'm going to do Armor Song. And Flesh Restore on my Poison Lazy Lady Oak Shield. I guess when I think they're too hard and then I try to run and it doesn't let me the first round, I rarely stop to say to this I rarely stop to reconsider if I should run the second round. I need to do that more. Five thousand experience from that. I I accept. Okay, this trap of the square. What do we got left for this level? Maybe maybe nothing. I mean, I haven't stepped here, but that's it. It's 
So I'll do that next, and then I think leave the dungeon. Because at this point, I'm pretty sure it's time to switch classes again. Uh, restoration, because Lady Oak Shield is way down on the hit points. Oh, even worse now. Yeah, just keep trying to summon your friends. You do that because it's not going to work. Come on, loot, loot, Death Stars. Well, it's it's loot, but not what I was hoping for. Thrown weapons are sort of dissatisfying. I don't think I even have someone who can use those. Maybe my rogue. Death Stars trade. This seemed like a hunter weapon. Why why did I hand these to I got confused about numbers. So yeah, she can't use them. Dropping. I mean I don't know, maybe my warrior can or something, but I'm pretty sure they're for hunters. <laughs> the different ports and versions kind of kept being unclear uh, are the hunters stand in for ninjas or the monks stand in for ninjas I don't know why they didn't just have ninjas if they were if they wanted them okay uh, venom claws I think are gonna only attack so we're gonna go with an armor song. They don't seem super robust. I lost track of where I was. Uh, 
think I'm eight west and four north. What does the spell say? Eight west, four north. Okay. So I'm down to wait, four, uh, four north, so I want to go negative four north to get back to the stairs. And I'm eight west, so I want to go eight east to get back to the stairs. Similarly, negative two down. What I don't know is how... Well, maybe I should experiment. I don't know how wraparound works. In the old Bard's Tales, if you went off the... You know, everything was 22 by 22. So if you were at the far corner, 2121, and you went north 11, and north and whatever. If you continue those directions, the one you wrapped around and started. Which I would use when I, you know, we had to go 21 distance and I didn't want to press the arrow key 21 times. I probably wouldn't care if you could just type the number. Okay, advancement. No? No? I misjudged. Okay. 12,000 more, so basically I need to hit 2,002. Oh. It's not 2 million, it's 230,000. I don't know if I can go all the way down to the fourth level. Um, we'll find out. If I can, I'll teleport there. If I can't, I'll teleport probably to right next to this portal. Bone, Acolyte, and a Phantom. I don't think it's worth it. Because both of them are a pain in the butt. Demons, those are bad. Bone acolyte, those are bad. Okay, that's a no. I suppose that a pro well, so the trade off is I can probably fight everything on the second level. Not waste time rejecting fights. Uh, 
The wind demons are still bad. There's only two of them. I'm going to do this one. Attack the marrow suckers. I don't think there are any summoners in this lot, so I'm going to start pumping up the heal song. Ice storm on. Oh. Anti magic. Ice. Ice storm on the wind demons. Okay, so the marrow suckers do summon. Although, if there's only two of them, it's maybe not a big deal. Everyone's attacking marrow suckers. Which I killed one of, uh, and then they summoned one more. Oh, Goblin Gulper can do a breath weapon, which is, I think, effectively the same as a spell. Just doesn't seem to do it very much. No. Do I even know? Yeah, I fought them before. <laughs> items, items, items. <laughs> I just got turned around and then to go west. Surely there must be some programs in counter rooms around here somewhere. Uh, this is not a super favorable fight. I'm going to try it. I will cast anti magic and ice storm on the wind demons. That worked. That seems to work well. I, I, I'm starting to get the feeling that they do care about what element they're attacked with. Which may be superstition.
So grinding down on this level has a problem, which is to make all the combats happen again. You want to leave the level and come back. Maybe we can by going down. Oh, now I can check whether that thing was an explosion or a trap. Five winged demons. Run. Uh, this is maybe bad. <laughs> okay, I'm attacking the one winged demon because maybe we can kill it, you know, like, it seems rather than spread our damage out among lots of enemies. Um... Do I have Death Strike on this character? No. Uh, anti magic and a preemptive restoration. Oh, you know, I'm a little unclear whether there are wind demons and wing demons or just wing demons. If they're both, that would be kind of mean. And if they're both, I was I was getting them confused. But if there's only one, I'm. It's kind of weird. They sometimes do very piddly damage, and sometimes they do really nasty damage. Maybe I should have restorationed again, just in case. Could it be that like those they cast a spell is like we're going to reduce your resistance or something? Uh, Spectre Touch on the Wing Demons? You probably can't afford Restoration anymore. Can you afford Ice Storm? Probably not. Oh no, you can. Keep Ice Storming them then. Okay, so sometimes they breathe, and the breathe is not that bad, and sometimes they cast some sort of spell that's pretty bad. Okay, I left the Gloom Bards to last. Among other things, this lets me kind of figure out if Gloom Bards are actually scary or not. Not really planned. So far, they don't really seem very dangerous. So I guess ignoring them till the end of the fight is probably right. Well, it's an item. That's for sure. Okay, so, uh, no, that is full spell points. I was thinking I'd finally got to the point where harmonic gems didn't fill my hit point, spell points entirely. Maybe that never happens. Maybe harmonic gems are always fill your spell points entirely. Okay, so no reaction there. And this is a trap or an explosion? An explosion, okay. So... 
W for down. I don't know why. E is kind of supposed to be elevate. So I just went down and up again. You can only, you can go down through a portal if you have no, you can always go down through portals. Uh, if you don't have levitation, you take some damage. If you don't have levitation, you cannot go back up through the portal. Okay, Demon Gari Lord. Uh, how are my hit points? They're not the best, not the worst. I'm going to try it. Probably because the Corruptors look easy. Ish. Do I have anti-demon spells? No, I guess I don't. Not yet. It doesn't have trivial health. Not overwhelming health either, though. So somehow I expected that when you answer the riddles incorrectly, it would like damage you or something. I don't know, I guess they're hard enough. Ready to punish you if you fail or get it wrong. I suppose one of the things that you're, I mean, like I certainly, when I played these games, I would just sometimes try entering 20 random things in a row. This looks somewhat risky. I am going to try it, however. Uh, shock sphere on the death lions. And ice storm on, no, that was wrong. For starters, no summon song. And secondly, Ice Storm actually has to go on the death lines. That wasn't bad. Three dead. Wasn't great. Oh my, everyone, everyone attack the phantom in case it summons dragons. Despite me 
playing the node summoning song like I did last time. Okay, tap death lines. Uh, dragon breath on. I did something wrong, but I don't care. It's only dragon breath. I storm on the death line. I don't know what phasing her did. I thought that fa when it says, you know, hits you phasing her, it would mean their turn is canceled. But then I saw people take turns after getting phased in the same round. And I don't know now. So Griznak just got phased twice. And there she's attacking. And she gets to declare attacks next turn. I'm pretty sure they're going to happen, so I don't know what it does. Loot, loot, loot. No. No loot. Okay, where am I? Uh, okay. So, this location is 6 west and 2 north. So now I have two people who can cast a Port Arcane, two people who can cast Restoration. That's nice. Uh, and if we check for whether I can learn new spells, he basically says, no, you, lo you know them all. 
That's the signal for change classes. Uh, we're now going to become... Oh, did you actually need to master two classes to become a Chronomancer? I forgot that. Anyway, we're changing to Sorcerer. Should I split between Sorcerer and Wizard? To get access to the Wizard spells? I don't know that I need them. seven spells for everyone you've already seen, but let's show off. Let's uh, show the um, new sorcerer spells. Looking at your known spell list gets confusing at this point because Mage Flame and so on, these are conjurer spells. Up through the high level ones like Instant Slayer and Farfo and a Port Arcane Teleport. Then we have, uh, starting with Corporal Plating, the Magician Spells. And at the bottom, Sorcerer Spells. Our new spells are these three. Mind Jab, which is a moderate range, I think. Maybe like 20 feet or 30 feet. Single target damage spell that scales with your level. Which is kind of weird, because you keep changing classes, so it gets weaker and stronger. Uh, I think in the long term it becomes too weak to become useful, but we may use it uh, soon. We have Phase Blur, which I think improves the Mage's armor class, which is sort of a curious thing to do, really useful. And Locate Traps. Locate Traps is the first meaningful buff in the detection slot. I think the Magician has area enchant, but all it does is tells you when there's stairs. And there aren't that many stairs, and you don't really need to know about them ahead of time. They're easy to detect, and if you find them late, it's fine. Knowing about traps ahead of time is great. You don't have to walk into them. Um, and that's it for now. Uh, when we level up some more... They'll go up a bunch of sorcerer levels relatively quickly, and we'll have a lot of new spells to show off. Okay, saving my game, signing off.